Hey Steam, welcome to Ace Academy. I'm Harini and today we'll be looking at the most important current affairs of March 28, 2021. So without much delay, let's get into the first question. So the first question is, who has been appointed as the chairman of Airports Authority of India? So the answer is option D, Sanjeev Kumar. So Sanjeev Kumar has been appointed as the chairman of Airports Authority of India and he is a 1991 batch IAS officer of Maharashtra Khader. Then moving on to the next question. So the second question is which international airport has become the world's first smart reading airport so the answer is option c dubai so dubai international airport has become the world's first smart reading airport then moving on to the next question so the third question is India has won how many medals in the 2021 Al Allen World Shooting Para Sports Tournament? So the answer is option A7. So India has won seven medals in the 2021 Al Allen World Shooting Para Sports Tournament. Then moving on to the next question. So the fourth question is. Asia's largest tulip garden has been opened in which state or union territories? The answer is option D, Jammu and Kashmir. So, the world's largest tulip garden, sorry, Asia's largest tulip garden has been opened in Jammu and Kashmir in Srinagar with around 4,000 visitors enjoying the bloom of the 25% of 15 lakh flowers planted over 30 hectares. Then moving on to the next question. So the fifth question is, which date is being observed as the World Theatre Day every year globally? So the answer is option A, 27. So the World Theatre Day is observed on 27th of March. Then moving on to the next question. So the sixth question is, with which country India has held a meeting of PIC under Indus Waters Treaty? So the answer is option C, Pakistan. So India has held a meeting of PIC under the Indus Waters Treaty with Pakistan. The annual meeting of the Permanent Indus Commission, the full form of PIC is Permanent Indus Commission. It is comprising of Indus Commissioners of India and Pakistan was held in New Delhi. Then moving on to the next question. So the seventh question is, what is the theme of Earth Hour 2021? So the answer is option D. Climate change to save Earth. And the Earth Hour was observed on 27th of March from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So we celebrate the Earth Hour on last Saturday of March. Then moving on to the next question. So the eighth question is, world's first mobile water from air queues and water knowledge center has been unveiled in which cities the answer is option a visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh and it was set up by maitri aquatics so the world's first mobile water from air kiosk and water knowledge center has been unveiled in visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh then moving on to the next question So the ninth question is, India and which country has conducted the first ever joint naval patrolling and passex exercise? So the answer is option B, Madagascar. So India and Madagascar have conducted the first ever joint naval patrolling and passex exercise. Then moving on to the next question. So the 10th question is, who has been felicitated with the 
Maharashtra Bhushan Award 2020, the highest honor of state government. So the answer is option D, Asha Bhosle. So Asha Bhosle has been felicitated with the Maharashtra Bhushan Award 2020, the highest honor of the state government. Then moving on to the next question. So the 11th question is, Hardeep Singh Puri has inaugurated the Kunul airport in which state so the answer is option b andhra pradesh so hardeep singh puri inaugurated the kurnul airport in andhra pradesh then moving on to the next question so the 12th question is who has virtually inaugurated the central scrutiny center and investors education and protection fund authorities mobile App. So the answer is option B. Nirmala Sitaraman. So Nirmala Sitaraman virtually inaugurated the Central Scrutiny Center and Investor Education Protection Fund Authority mobile app. Then moving on to the next question. So the thirteenth question is. Which state's chief minister has launched the Mera Mask Meri Suraksha campaign? So the answer is option D, Madhya Pradesh. So Madhya Pradesh chief minister Sh Shivaraj Singh Chauhan has launched the Mera Mask Meri Suraksha campaign. Then moving on to the next question. So the 14th question is, the sports minister Kiran Rijiju has included which game in Kelo India Youth Games 2021 so the answer is option A Yogasana it has been included in a bid to develop it as a competitive sport so sports minister Kiran Rijiju has included Yogasana in Kelo India Youth Games 2021 then moving on to the next question so the 15th question is who has been sworn in as the new chairman of Food Corporation of India? So the answer is option B, Atish Chandra. So Atish Chandra has been sworn in as the new chairman of FCI, Food Corporation of India. Then moving on to the next question. So the 16th question is, who has been appointed as the CEO of the Unique Identification Authority of India? So the answer is option B, Saurabh Garg. So Saurabh Garg has been appointed as the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the Unique Identification Authority of India and he is a 1991 batch IAS officer from Odisha, Karda. Then moving on to the next question. So the 17th question is, the team of which college in India has won the Core Net Global Academic Challenge 6.0 in 2021? So the answer is option A, IIT Kharagpur. So IIT Kharagpur has won the Core Net Global Academic Challenge 6.0 in 2021. Then moving on to the next question. So the 18th question is, Earth Hour is an annual event that is marked on which date? The answer is option A, last Saturday of March. So the Earth Hour is an annual event that is marked on the last Saturday of March. Then moving on to the next question. So the 19th question is, how many Ayush Health and Wellness Center have been e inaugurated by Jammu and Kashmir, LG, Manoj, Sinha? So the answer is option D, 73. So 73 Ayush Health and Wellness Center has been inaugurated, e inaugurated by Jammu and Kashmir, LG, Manoj, Sinha. Then moving on to the next question. So the last question is, who has topped the Grohe Hurun 
Indian real estate rich list for 2020? So the answer is option C, MP Lauda. So Mangal Prabhat Lauda and the family of Lauda group is India's richest real estate developers on Grohe Hurun Indian real estate rich list for 2020. So that's it. We are done for the day and thank you for watching our video. And if you think that we are doing good, please let us know in the comment section below because it means a lot to us. And meet you in my next video. Till then, bye. It's me, Harini, signing off.